Biggest crime I've ever done, conspiring to commit arson. Oh, but you didn't do it. I think in terms of the charge, like That's what they would have, they, what conspiring to commit arson. That's an idea. What were you gonna? What were you gonna burn? Yeah, uh, pizzeria that I worked for. the The owner of it was gonna get collect the insurance money, and it was paying. Oh, money. it was oh, wow. a good plan. It wasn't oh, just like fuck this place. No, 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 it wasn't like arson. Like it was, it was. I, I, I actually, I, is that the crime? Is that conspiring to commit arson? It was to the point where I'm talking about like we bought everything. We were on our way to do it. Why didn't you do it? He told us not to at the last minute. Oh, what a bitch. Yeah, pizza guy. I feel like a pizzeria is down. easily flammable too. You can just be like, I left a pie in Sorry. the oven. It was crazy what we were gonna do. How are you gonna on, do it? Us, I, I, yeah, how are you gonna? Do I it? have talked about it, so I, I do apologize for the people that have heard this story. Um, but it, it's it's a it's fucking solid how dumb I was and how close my life was to ending. Yeah, this was my time. The time from seventeen to nineteen, I was dancing with the fucking devil. I, I moved out when I was like 16 years old. As soon as I could drive, I left. And I was like, I'm going to sleep on friends' couches. I'm not going home. I hated my mom. I hated my home life. Yeah. Um, and by the time I was 17, 18, I was just committing petty crimes, you know, robbing the mall, like things like- you know, The nothing, Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. Robbing the Rainforest Cafe. We would we would steal clothing and sneakers and sell them. And we would, and, and a big part of it was this guy who owned this pizzeria. Um, he he actually was the one who sent us to the mall to pick up sneakers and different mm-hmm. things. And he had pizzeria. P- people who own pizzerias know everybody, so that's all. And they like knowing everybody. They like they they, yeah, yeah. they like pretending they're in the f- mob. That's what mm-hmm. it is, right? So this guy was like, "Oh, I got my it's guys. True. I'll get some sneakers for you." It was that guy, yeah. right? So he would he just he'd have a list of things: golf clubs, sneakers, clothes, different things that we would steal from the mall. The, um, and also in my act, I talked about when I worked at Hot Topic for two weeks when I was sixteen. <laughs> they, Hot Topic. Yeah, they told us <laughs> in that Lewis. mall. They told us in that mall that you, if you saw a shoplifter, you couldn't stop, you couldn't touch them. Yeah, you can't chase oh, them. You can't the chase them. You can't. Yeah, yeah, you got to call security. Security's got to call the cops, mm-hmm. right? The um, you can do is grab the shit. That yes. They have. So uh, we, I started robbing. The, like that was it. I was like, all right. The most valuable yeah. thing about this job is the fact that I found out that I can steal anything I want. Tell your friends. Anywhere. Anywhere. We would literally just go, we'd walk in, walk out, like fuck you. We literally it didn't, didn't matter. We would barely even. Hide it. I got this Smith's t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, what's it called? Uh, hold on. Uh, what, what, so, this pizzeria, we were going to, the plan was I was working as a bouncer at um, the pizzeria? No, Hot with, at Whiskey Charlie's. Okay. At the time, I had stopped working at the pizzeria at that time. My other buddy, James, had been working at the pizzeria, but I, I had a job at this pizzeria since I was like 14. We were delivering flyers for this yeah. guy when we were 14. Barking. Then when I was, yeah, I was barking. <laughs> then I was, uh, <laughs> For, just for pizza. <laughs> then when I was 16, I started delivering pizza for him. But this is when I was like 19. I was working as a bouncer at Whiskey Charlie's, which was an underage drinking bar in Rockland County, New York, right? Nice. And this was a part of it because that was my alibi, right? I was going to, we were doing it while I was at work. Mm. So my buddy was going to pick me up while I was at work. I was going to go out the back door where there was no camera, right? And then he was going to pick me up. We're going to drive, which was about a 20 minute drive to the pizzeria. And then he was going to drive me back. And the idea was hopefully nobody noticed that I was gone because I was checked in at work. Right. I was fucking. Not terrible. It's so not far. terrible. Not it's terrible. a very, it's a Saturday night. It's an extremely busy bar. Yeah. There's like 10 or 12 bouncers. No, I just saw Lewis. Yeah, was the pizzeria here. closed or were people inside when you were going to murder? We were going to murder fucking. Italians. It was gonna be. It was gonna, gonna burn the place down. With while people. it was open. Oh, man on. <laughs> now we can't leave. <laughs> no, this is like late at night. It's like eleven o'clock at night, twelve o'clock at night, right? This is when the bar was bumping. Yeah. Fucking bumping, and we uh, we were we got lighter fluid. We stole the lighter fluid from the supermarket. Accelerant. Um, and we were going to. This is as far as it went. I was gonna, we were gonna leave the back door of the, or, or James was leaving the back door of the pizzeria open. We left the lighter fluid behind the pizzeria, right? Just like in a little spot, like sure. hidden. We're gonna come into the back door. We're gonna, you know, the electrical box with all the fuses? Yeah. This is as far as I thought. This is how little, also, what a little of a man I am. I was like, that will obviously, if you light that on fire, that's gonna make the whole place explode. Yeah, it's gonna go right <laughs> So, Three, two, <laughs> one, <laughs> boom. So, so I, the idea is we're going to spray that box with lighter fluid, yeah. then light it and fucking dip off. He was going to drive me back to, you no, know, what was going to happen was there was going to be a little fire on the wall and that was going to be, totally. it wasn't, it wasn't going to be totally. anything beyond that. The electricity wasn't going to bring the fire through the walls <laughs> like I had imagined. It was the dumbest fucking idea ever. Do a Molotov it's going to be like the 4th of July, watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was it. We, we, uh, we're, it's an electrical fire. Duh, that's what I... Yeah, It's yeah. an electrical fire. That obviously... Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. 
<laughs> it was such a fucking stupid plan, and I was likely going to end up in prison. Yes. I, also, yeah, he fucking like, squarely. If, if he would have ratted us out to the cops, uh, and they would have had, and they would have, he, if he would have gotten caught, he would have definitely said, "Yeah, these guys." That did totally. It. He was going to pass five thousand dollars each, which at the time was like an ungodly Absolutely. amount of money. So much fucking money. Um, and yeah, he called it off at the last minute. We didn't do it, but we were getting fucking caught. One of the Mexicans that worked in the kitchen caught us, we, and we were still going to go through it, caught us putting the lighter fluid behind like a thing, behind the dumpster. He was like, hey, what are you doing? Que paso? Yeah, yeah, we're like, well, oh, nothing. We are like, what's that lighter fluid for? He said that. En fuego. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, when the owner called it off, was he like, did he speak in code? He's like, yeah. that thing we talked about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> tippy toe, tippy uh, toe. It's too late, Tony. It's too late. <laughs> The plan's in action, Tony. <laughs> You're going to kill the fucking Mexicans? Uh, Dougie, we were going to kill these Mexicans. We had to. <laughs> for five large. <laughs> Why did you kill the Mexicans? We had to. <laughs> Dougie, it was fucking. Three smalls no, for five large. No witnesses, dog. I want another coffee. Dougie. Yeah, well, can you get Chloe a coffee, please? please? Gracias. Thanks, Thanks. Wow. Hey, no, Amazing. No. Do you think he would have would have gone through with it? If yeah, we would have gone through with it. We would have gone through with it. And the other closest, I was going to rob a KFC. I, I mean, it would have, I KFC. guess attempted robbery of a KFC would have been the other biggest crime, right? So here's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I mean, that's if a- I'm caught in the act, right? So I, w- I, I, I had a ski mask yeah. and a screwdriver in my pocket that Scre- I was going to, yeah. <laughs> I was just happy to see. It. <laughs> no, it was a screwdriver. And I was going to pretend it was a gun underneath my shirt. Yeah. So smart. It was really thin And guns. then it just pokes through. <laughs> yeah. But, oh. Is that a fucking Phillips head you got? Yeah. So, um, but I, I chickened out at the last minute. But get it? Chickened out? <laughs> God damn. It's a fucking good joke. It's a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like this is like if cops had rolled up on me in that moment, I'm, I'm in the bushes behind a KFC waiting for the guy to come out with a ski mask on. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Like, is that is that enough? Is that far enough into the crime? Um. Or can I be like, it's a costume? It's a very lesser charge, if anything. I mean, is that, but is that attempted robbery? I don't if the cops show up right then, in that moment, I'm like, what? I'm hanging out in the bushes with a ski mask on. Yeah, I don't know. There's conspiracy to rob a KFC. You can rob on robbery. Halloween. No, I don't so think it's, it's even attempted at Thank that you point. So much. You're just, you're just in the bushes in the fucking, with the You're just hanging out. I think you're going to get off. I think they will there arrest you. Thank a ski mask is not illegal. Cops to wear a ski mask stop, in a parking lot. Cops roll lot. and having to screw everybody. None of this is illegal. I am totally. handy and I'm cold. I'm just a chilly <laughs> carpenter. <laughs> Doggy. I, right. I just have bad circulation. Yeah. Yeah. If, if a cop shows up while you're in the bushes right there, then I, I, I do believe that you're getting arrested. They're gonna go. What? What are you doing? I mean, Lloyd, if you don't have, I don't know, if you don't it's have not a, a big charge. If you don't have a quick answer, you're going away in cuffs. Right That's there true. There. That's true. Zach, what about you? I'm not getting away. No, I. <laughs> Zach gives up. <laughs> no, Zach I just goes. Have you I'd done rather, any crimes? Zach, I'd rather just Zach have doesn't the do crimes <laughs> because he refuses to have to get away. He doesn't want to <laughs> run. <laughs> I just want the number four meal. <laughs> I pictured Lewis when you went to rob. Is that a crime? <laughs> you wore all black with like a knit cap and dressed like a robber. Yeah. And yeah. right before you got hungry, so you ordered something, <laughs> and then you went out back. Well, also, it was the manager of no, KFC. I, not so out it, was, it was a different. Um, <laughs> it was a different KFC that I worked at, but it was like the same owner. It was the same franchiser, and then it was the same um, manager. Like that was my old manager from the KFC, the one who punched me in the face for jerking off while I was mm-hmm. supposed to be working the drive-through. Oh wow! Um, so, <laughs> and I have this voice, so he would have just heard my voice. I'm like, totally. "Hey, stick him up, I'm like, Lewis." <laughs> I'm just the kidding. Drumstick and no one gets hurt. <laughs> yeah, instead of a screwdriver, you you'd a drumstick up. under it, <laughs> pretending that's a gun. Dude, I um, yeah. So I don't know what's more of a crime. Well, I, I guess I'd say the arson one. By far, conspiracy to commit arson. If 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 he had been setting me up with the cops, I think it would have been actual yeah, real jail was, time. You were definitely his fallback. Yeah. He would have gotten. He would have read. He probably wouldn't have heartbeat. paid you either. Maybe. Yeah, or he would have waited true. for the insurance money. It's like well, we didn't ask yeah. for any money up front. Like he would have, like, uh, like he would have just sort of blown us off regularly. Because right. what will we do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not going to. Totally. We're not going to kill him. The only answer exactly. is killing him. So we're not. We're unwilling to murder. We're barely willing to light this place on fire. So we're not willing to murder a guy. Or would we have that? Uh, just might... is that pizza place still around? Or was there another fire? I don't know. Yeah, was it a good slice? It was a good slice. <laughs> but honestly, who knows? It's like I, I have. A, I'm a lot more. Um, cultured now at this point in my life. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to think so. But I, I remember it being a good slice. But I remember a lot of things being great as a kid. That's true. You know? I uh, I stole a Dave Thomas 
poster from a Wendy's. It was like hanging down in the doorway. It was framed. And I was in a senior year in high school. I was like, I need that. You know, it was like yeah. Dave was in a Hawaiian shirt holding a burger. Same and you're just like, I got to take that home. And we didn't plan. It was a very spur of the moment thing. We wow. just drove up, unhooked it. It was just hanging on two little chains. We unhooked it, put it in the back, and drove away. And that's it. And no, that is not where it ended. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, so I was driving my grandfather's car. They would live in Florida during the winter. Yeah. And I would, that was like my car that I drove. So the people in the drive through just saw us run out with the fucking poster and then just saw us get in our car, easily wrote down our license plate number. Yeah. And then my, I'm sitting at home at my parents' house. It was a Friday afternoon after high school. I swear to God, I'm taking a shit in our downstairs uh, bathroom and I see a cop walk up our, start to walk oh, up no. our path. Yeah. And they go, they go, does, uh, wipe. Yeah, I fucking shit more. <clears throat> they go, um, Knocked on the door. They goes, Albert Martini live here? I go, no, it's my grandfather because nice. the car is registered nice. to his name. Love it. And so the, they were like, well, we got a call from uh, the Wendy's on Route 10. <laughs> they said someone with this license plate number. The car is over there in the in the rocking driveway. Oh, no. So uh, luckily my parents aren't home at this time. Beautiful. So I'm like, I don't know anything about that. That's crazy. And uh, the cop left and he goes, all right, well, you've got to call this detective when Albert Martini comes home. And now I'm like, you know, my fucking poor grandfather I know. getting fucking dimed for but, this. Hey, I'm Albert Martini. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, when the cop left, I called my friend Tim, who was with me. I was like, we got to ditch the evidence, dude. We got to yeah, get rid of this get rid of it. If they, they don't have, If they don't have the evidence, what are they going to do? How how deep can they really go? Security footage? No way. Nah, dude. I don't even believe it. There's... It was witnesses. That's all. Witnesses. There's yeah. no security they saw footage? saw us do it. Whatever, dude. This is, not, this is before cameras. Human right error. Right. Human error. Human error. So this we guy... fucking, we took it, we dumped, we threw it in a sewer. To oh. get rid of it. Sure. And, and the my... Jews brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy a poster? <laughs> Just hanging in a tunnel somewhere. Yeah, dude. We threw it in the sewer, and uh, I f***ing... They started calling my grandfather's place in Florida. And now my mom's getting home. She's like, why is grandpa calling? He's all agitated. He's all worked up. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, I don't know, Wendy. What are you talking about? <laughs> and so uh, I had to... I t- fucking fessed. I'm like, we took a sign. She's like... Bring it back, stupid. No. At that point, I was like, oh, fuck. In the sewer. We threw it's it in, in the, the goddamn sewer. sewer. We somehow managed to fish it out of the fucking sewer. Nice. It was, you know, like New Jersey suburban sewers. It wasn't that deep. We fished it out. But now it's all fucking busted and broken. So I swear to God, this is how great my dad was. He put it in like a clamp, like a fucking sea clamp, and glued it. And we brought it back. And when we brought it back, the manager was like, all right, looks all right. He's leaning on it and shit. I'm like, oh, it's going to fucking break. Wow. And yeah, we just fucking apologized. And the guy was like, we were like, it was just a prank. We're sorry. And we fucking, he let us go. He didn't just, press charges. Yeah, dude, fucking stealing for the sake of stealing. It's just yeah, fun, dude. I just wanted the fucking poster. It was fucking great. Just good. It was just, you know, petty little crimes just to fuck yeah. around. You don't really think that it's going to li- li- lead to anything. I never got caught stealing. I mean, I still that I caught stealing I in New York City. A bunch. I, I never got, got caught. citizen's arrest. You were citizens arrested. Yeah. If somebody tried what? a citizens arrest me, just so you know, it, it would be them, of course, risking their life. Like yes. now, it's like, well, now you're gonna die. You're trying to citizens arrest me. Th- this of is course. like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Are you fucking crazy? How? But I need to hear Chloe's story. It's not that good. I was just, I was in Vail, Colorado, and it was, I was just kicking this sign after midnight because you have to. There's curfew on New Year's if you're under 21. My brother and I were just kicking the sign, and this cop goes, "Freeze." And then uh, he looked at me. He goes, run. So then I just started running. What? Yeah. My uh, brother, not the cop. My oh, brother. The, what <laughs> no. a crazy cop. The co- uh, like, I'm going to hunt yeah, you. Run. And then I just started. What's <laughs> <laughs> the name? She's a kid. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is that? That would be crazy. Yo. <laughs> Freeze. Surviving now the game. Run. Now run. <laughs> oh Freeze God. again. You want to. <laughs> that is rich. Red Yo, red that, is, <laughs> that is some rich white people red shit. Red just oh, hunting He's a like, van. what time is it, Mr. Fox? <laughs> Yo. That's a while. So your brother goes, run. All right. And then I just started running. And then this cop is just chasing me through the village. And there's all these people out, like at the bars, like smoking cigarettes. And the cop is just chasing me. And she's like, freeze, freeze. Oh, it's a and, female cop. Yeah. And I'm just running. And then all of a sudden, this guy who's standing outside a bar smoking a cigarette just tackles me. No. Yeah. And afterwards, his friends looked at him and they're like, dude, you're a fucking bitch. Yeah, like, a pussy. why didn't you let her go? And he was like, oh, I thought I was helping. Yeah. 
And so he he just tackled me. I will say, I, I had, I had a ground. moment like that too once. I didn't tackle him, but I was I was selling comedy club tickets on 34th Street. And I saw just like a black kid like running toward me. Oh, and I saw cops like chasing him behind. And uh, I just put my foot out and I tripped him. Really? <laughs> yeah. And the black kid got away. Cops <laughs> no, I tripped the kid. And it turns out he had mugged a chick for her phone or something. Oh. There but is. I didn't know. Yeah. Like I, I, I had no idea. Whatever it was, the old white Republican yeah. in me was at twenty years old was still there. I watched an entire block full of people not do that. Mm-hmm. I watched a black kid run and with a lady, yeah, walking <laughs> in behind him like he took my phone, and he's bugging, and I just watched an entire block of bees go. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but I hope somebody helps that lady. So, and then I remember one other time when uh, there was a black kid who robbed a woman's phone in front of me. Like it was like in in Hell's Kitchen, forty seventh, ninth, or whatever. He grabs her phone, right? And it was me and another white guy. We're like on the block, and the kids like running, and we're like, "Get him!" We're like, "We're gonna help this lady," right? So we start, and this, I mean, this black kid was so athletic. Like he did the move where he broke my leg. Like, like, oh yeah, he did one of those and spun, Just and fucking, I fucking fell down on the ground. <laughs> Just fucking head fake. <laughs> the woman, broke your she was so disappointed. She was like, <laughs> "Why these guys? Why would they have to help me?" She's yeah. like. Never made varsity, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. It's all right. You tried. 